one of the easiest ways to read a green is what type of grass you're putting. If you're putting a Bermuda, some type of a Bermuda grass, uh, you know that uh, if there's not a tremendous amount of undulation in the green, that the green is going to be going west. For some reason, that particular grass just reaches for the sun. Today, it's difficult to read a green because most people take carts. They don't walk up to the green anymore. In professional golf, you still walk up to the green. I always read a green when I was walking up. In other words, if when I was 40, 50 yards out in front in the fairway, I would look at the green and I could actually see all the undulation that's in that green. So I would look to see where my ball is and I could tell whether I had a two-way break or, or I, I, you know, or, or it broke to the right or left because you could see the undulation in the green. Now, if they're bent, it's a completely different puppy. Bent grass will still run downhill. The grain will run downhill. So if it's downhill, the grain's going that way. It doesn't make any difference for west, east, or anything else. Also, it's more consistent. You know, the speeds uphill, downhill, whatever, almost to the same. They, they, don't, they don't change much. In Bermuda, uphill is very slow because it's in the grain. Uh, downhill, it's very fast. My suggestion to you is when you go out and you're going to play a golf course, the first thing that you do is go to the putting green and put 40 footers. Put them downhill and uphill. Forget the three footer. Forget the four footer. Forget the 10 footer. Get your speed on the long putt first. And then you want three putt nearly as much. 